it's 4 30 and i'm drinking coffee so i feel like that's not a good sign but i have been wanting to put this video on youtube for so long and i keep getting so busy from my yoga certification and to traveling back and forth from la like i'm just like okay i need to get it done this weekend so i'm sitting here and getting it done so if you're new here hi i'm sophia this week's video is about my planner and how i get organized for the week how i do my journaling basically just setting myself up for success for the week so i'm going to show you step by step on what i do and basically how i like to plan the week out so hope you enjoy so we are almost in march i literally couldn't believe that today was the 21st i thought today was the 19th and my sister was like no it is the 21st so i was like no way like it can't be the 21st already but it is so we are getting close to march 1st which is what seven eight days so what i also like about the passion planner is that there's a monthly reflection which i love to do um i was supposed to do one last month and then i got too busy and then i realized that i wanted to take time in the next one and be more prepared for that because i didn't want to rush it i kind of like want to sit and like think about the month before and reflect and write down anything that i feel like is beneficial from that previous month what i also like about the passion planner is that it says this month's focus which gives you a personal or a work so if you have a goal for your personal life that is definitely like a focus you want to focus for that month on and then there's also the work one which you want to focus on and then people you want to see for the month if either you want to see like a friend out of town or go visit someone that's nice to do places to go and then i guess a little not to do list so other stuff that you might want to get done and then there's personal projects and work projects which i love these columns because it tells you like the due dates of everything so you know like okay i need to get this done before and I swear, using a planner has helped me so much because I have like, I have like a racing mind and I feel like sometimes I could keep everything in my head, but then I realize no, I have to see it on paper. It helps me so much more and just helps me to see the bigger picture. And there's the break it down, create a mind map of this month's game changer. So I'm not really sure what this portion is supposed to be about, but I like to write down like, what like certain goals are or like my manifestations for that month so that's where i'll put that little area which is handy to look at and turn to so now i am going to show you exactly what i do for my week i love to color code stuff so i literally color code everything from like waking up to going to bed i literally have to write everything in here because it just looks so satisfying but so my passion planner starts from Sunday to Saturday. So sometimes I accidentally put like my Monday stuff on Sunday, which drives me crazy. But um, I don't know. I don't remember why I did that one, but I think it just came as it is. But so I'll dive into what I do. So I always put down the time that I wake up, which is 6.30, sometimes 7, depending how I slept the night before. Um, but I always highlight the 6.30 and 7 and put wake up and do it all across for the week. And then I do work. I have to be at work by 8.30. So I write down my work and highlight that as well. And then I usually just draw a line down. And then there's my lunch break, which is usually like 12.30 or 1, depending on how busy I am. And then I end work at 5. So that's like my real, like my job besides my like wellness account. And then after that, if I have like appointments, I like to put that down too. And also like my therapy or even my workouts. I swear writing down my workouts is also so helpful for many of you that don't know what ClassPass is. I use ClassPass. It is so great because you can try so many different classes and there's just so much variety and if you can't get into if you can't get into one class, then you can try another class. Like there's just so much going on which I love because sometimes I'll get bored if that makes sense like i'll get bored just staying in like one place and paying like a huge amount but with this you can actually jump from different studios and you could also make like so many friends like i've actually met like a good amount of people from doing class pass which has been so fun so if you like class pass definitely reach out to me i'm from orange county area so we could do class pass together and then i always write down my dinner and then my bedtime, which is usually 8.30 to 9, depending if I'm tired, like how tired I am. That's basically it. And I also, what I want to start doing for now on is putting down 
like what I want to do before bed. So it's either like my skincare routine and like reading for 10 to 15 minutes, maybe stretching, figuring out how to write that in a place. So I'm thinking about doing like sticky notes and just sticking them on the side, which will remind me that like that's what I want to do for my nighttime routine. There's the personal to-do list and there's also the work to-do list, which I use constantly. Um, personal, my everyday stuff that I like to do, like groceries, laundries, anything like that. And then there's a work to-do list, which is both my work and then also like my content creation, which is so great. And then as with the monthly um, aspect of this, there's also a week of something. So it's like a week of self-care, a week of meditating. Like you can decide what you want to do for this week and what you want to put your main focus in. And every day has a today's focus, which you can decide, what do I need to focus on more today? Do I need to breathe more? Do I need to go for a walk? What do I need to do? Do I work out? Just making sure that you complete today's focus because I feel like when you don't have a today's focus and put yourself first, it can kind of, I don't know. I feel like whenever I don't put myself first on like days, like during work and I just have to keep helping people and not actually like filling my own cup, I kind of get overwhelmed. So always remind yourself that you need to take care of yourself first before you can help anyone else. So that's a little rant. What's also cool is that like good things that happened this week, which I think this is my favorite part of the passion planner because knowing good things that happened this week is so cool. Like for example, I like hired a social media assistant or I communicated with more people this week. I networked or um, I had more free time and then I wrote down like, oh, what do I want to do for the free time? So it's stuff like that. Um, that you could just write there for example or like oh like I had a great job interview or I ran five miles this week like that's awesome like good things that happen like remind yourself to be grateful of everything that you do which I feel like that column is and then also on the left is like a little quote for the week which says like love is a great beautifier by Louisa May Alcott and then she said this week think about a friend or loved one who has always been by your side go out of your way to let them know how much you cherish them remember it's the thought that counts so passion planner actually i believe made that little quote up just to get you thinking about what you want to do for that week which i feel like that's so motivating to just read and be like oh yeah like i think i want to text my friend like i want to check in on them the last portion of this is the space of infinite possibility so this is usually I range in so many different areas or like so many different things in this area where it goes from like Instagram ideas, TikTok ideas, literally my manifestations, stuff I want to do, just ideas that come to me. I literally just write it all out in this box, um, which is fun because it's just a blank piece of this area where you could just free write. Like you could do whatever you want to this area. So that is great as well but that's basically all i do for the week um nothing too crazy i like to keep it very simple and organized but it's nice to just remind yourself that you should write everything down and i know many people use like their phones but personally for me i have to have a planner um i couldn't imagine my life without one because i have to like i love just like grabbing a book and just writing in it the next thing that i do for the week with organizing is my journal so i like to set up my journal monday through friday with journal prompts that i usually come out with sunday or monday but my website is filled with journal prompts if you want to go take a look it's www.sophiaanamato.com and i have all my journal prompts saved there so you can just go and click and they download it for free which they're all free so you don't have to pay for any of them um but yeah, that's another thing that I love to do. Another thing to keep me organized for the week as well that I just like to like have on my desk is this dry erase board from Target, which goes from Monday to Sunday. And then it says personal goals. So I wrote out like work out three times this week, wake up at 6.30 every day, journal in the morning, a morning routine, meditate every night. And then there's acts of kindness, which I said buy flowers for my mom, buy the Starbucks behind me, compliment a stranger, chores around the house, take my dog on a walk, and then it says I am grateful for, which I put my health, waking up under a roof, everything I own, my opinion, my voice, my body, mind, and soul. 
so this is just great as like a little overview as well if you're not into planners but prefer a dry erase board i would definitely recommend this one and i'll link it below but this is also just fun to have and look at like right when i wake up and like have my coffee and i like remind myself like oh these are my personal goals for the week so my last thing for you is a few tips that i like to do to help me be on top of my game to be the best version of myself and here are the tips so the first one is i always like to like plan my outfits accordingly the night before so when i wake up i literally can just hop into it and be ready and set and then the second one is i do that as well with like my workout clothes i have that all packed up if i have like a workout right after work it's just i grab my aloe bag and then i take off and i'm good to go and I also, my third one is I like to plan my lunches the night before too. So then I just grab and go. That could also be with smoothies, anything. So I like to always prepare those the night of. So I just wake up easily, have a very calm and smooth morning and just focus on myself. And then as I'm about to leave, grab everything quickly and then I'm out the door. This is how I plan my week. Very simple and nothing crazy. Um, I just know some people are always like, oh, like how do you use your passion planner? Like what do you put in it? everything blah 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 like what do you put in your passion planner like what advice do you have so that is my advice i love writing everything down i love to do the today's focus what do i want to focus on i love putting my workouts down because then it also motivates me to cross it off and be like hell yeah like i did that like i i completed my workout and i feel so great so that is my little rant about the passion planner this isn't sponsored or anything i just really love this planner um, I don't think I've ever loved a planner so much. I know it, I've had a few like I had Erin Condren I love her planners um, But I feel like this passion planner is more directed toward me and like my goals Because even at the beginning of the passion planner It gives you like a roadmap of what you want to achieve and then with like the monthly reflections You can go back and look at like your roadmap and see your success or your progress and it's actually like really really beneficial and fun to look at but i hope you enjoyed this video i want to do more tips and tricks and more like well-being and wellness videos so i'm trying to be more consistent on youtube but if you have any questions put them down in the comments i'd love that follow me on instagram sophia animato basically it i hope you love this video please like subscribe do any of that and i hope you have a lovely sunday and a lovely rest of your week